Well, hello everybody. Today I want to show you how to make your own rhythm sticks. And these are my rhythm sticks. I call them rhythm sticks because they are basically for making rhythm, but they are not used to play another instrument like the drum. So those are drumsticks, and that's what makes these different. These are just to make rhythm by themselves. You don't need anything else. These are very fun because they make a really cool sound. These are basically cardboard tubes or pipes. You can get them from rolls of paper towels, rolls of aluminum paper, or plastic wrapping for food. They also usually have these inside. So that's where you get these from, and that's the best thing that you can use for make your own rhythm sticks. And, of course, you have to make your own decoration. As always, one suggestion is to use colored paper. Because that's very easy, that you can already just cut some stripes on the sizes that you want, and then you wrap them around. Okay? So you're basically just going to be needing paper and glue. It's good if you have a glue stick. If not, well, you can use the regular glue. And always helps to use a ruler, because that way you will be able to measure what size of papers you want to use for decorating your two rhythm sticks. If you want them to look alike, if you want them to look like exactly the same, well, you're going to have to measure, so that way you have both sides the same size of colors. Okay? If you want. If not, well, you can do it differently. For example, my daughter, she decorated hers a little different. They, she picked almost the same color, but she has dark pink on this one, on the edges, and light pink on this one. And then, on the middle, she decided to put thicker pink on this side and thinner on this one. You see, they are not exactly the same, but they look good. That doesn't matter. And then she drew little kittens, and then she cut them. She also put these little decorations also. And on the back, she put a couple hearts. Corazones in Spanish. Okay, so basically if you put these kind of decoration things, well, make sure you don't put them like on the bottom because you're going to need space to hold them, you see? So as long as you have some space down here to hold them, you're good. And also don't cover from halfway up because that's the area that you're going to use to be playing on different surfaces, okay? So basically... The easiest thing is always to wrap around with paper. Again, if you don't have color paper at home, don't worry for trying to buy it. You can always use white paper, color it yourself, and then wrap it around. And even if you don't have paper, well, you can use paint if you have, or stickers, or color tapes, okay? So just find a way to decorate it and make it nice, make it yours. And you can always use markers also directly on the tube if you don't have anything else or if you have the paper well you can make your own decorations on top with the mark okay so that's it for today now you know how to make your own rhythm sticks and then we will be playing with them and that will be very fun because you can do many things with this okay so see you next time have fun and always keep creating. Bye-bye.